Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Rose of Venus Tarot. It's Lacey. This is going to be a general collective energy reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Like those fake ass friends. <laughs> Speaking of that, that's a funny way to start off the reading. Some of you guys could have decided to detach energy from somebody who you realized was like an energy vampire. Or they might not have, you know, instead of using such an extreme term, they might have just lacked emotional awareness when it came down to you. Maybe they always wanted to make people jealous or make you jealous, you know, just because they got off on other people being jealous of them. When it, or they could have been overly competitive with you. Let's start with the major arcana, do it that classic way. Oh, first thing that came out is the devil, but it came out in reverse. So some of you, it's regaining control, reclaiming your power, release, freedom. A sense of removing this person from your life, you could have noticed like your energy field is much clearer. Like you might be attracting new people towards you. This person, hmm, they wanted to paint you in a certain light. Like, you know, to, they want it to be one of the only people who like you. Strength card came out next. Excuse me. Bless me. It's a little bit. <laughs> you know, the uh, strength card came out next. This person could have been a Leo. Um, that or you could be regaining your strength here. You're regaining focus, confidence. There could have been something about your strength that attracted this person to you. Like this person could have found it like a challenge to try to break down your strength that or they wanted that strength for themselves. We got the world card here coming out in reverse. Yeah, th this person wanted you to feel like the whole world was against you. This person didn't want you to have a sense of harmony in the world. Now that you could have pulled back your energy, you could have that you could be finding more harmony in the world and whatnot. It's a little hot in here from this heat. I might open the window. But I don't want it to be too much noise. Usually I have water. Today I have a little Gatorade. I'll get back to posting more often once the holiday season is over and I have a little more time probably. I want to make false promises though. So. Yeah, stagnation, indecision, staying in a bad situation. This person, hmm, wanted to see you as a person who didn't have nobody else. So that you will tolerate BS just to say that you had a friend or just to feel like you were with somebody or with the crew here. Your strength, though, says that you would rather be alone. And not only that, you know, you're grown. You, you have a lot of options here as far as <laughs> lovers, as far as friends. It's not hard for you to make friends. It's not hard for you to meet lovers here. A lot of you guys just don't accept any BS when it comes to that, and you keep your boundaries high. Yeah, this person could have had a lack of self-discipline. They're cocky. Oh, yeah, they felt like they could just, hmm, I don't know, blow smoke up people's butts to kind of get what they want from people here. Like this person could have even re tried to reverse manifest on you. Like, <laughs> like this person could try to learn the law of manifestation. But I was thinking about it in that um, cartoon. What is that cartoon? The Midnight Gospel. It was like a scene in there. I don't know if you have ever seen that cartoon where they were talking about... Um, having a word and the word was God and, you know, and whatnot, but you having to have that certain, you have to, it's not just having the words, you also have to have that, hmm, what do they say? Frequency too. 
So, you know, this is the type of person who would say, I'm going to be a manager, but they don't really ever show up to work. Like, you know, they don't really put in that type. They think they could just manifest just by saying certain things. This person could have also realized that you had impact on their life. Like just talking to you, certain lucky things would happen because you're into the art of manifestation and whatnot people just want them more they thought that they could like hmm use your energy and then kind of pull you down at the same time they thought they could literally give you like nothing in return like not pity not nothing like and then the little they did give you like you know <laughs> you didn't really need like they thought you would just value a person just to have a person around like you know and that's not where it comes from you you can you have a lot of people around you it's not hard for you to make friends this person wanted to believe it was <laughs> this person also wanted to imitate your energy a lot of people fuck with you and uh, not a lot of people fuck with them when it comes down to it seeing productivity, regaining awareness, freedom, survivor. This person wanted you in chains here to them. They wanted you to feel unproductive. This person could have even tried to manifest injury against you. I'm seeing here, you know, for some people, not all, you know, you could even have certain watcher angels with you, especially if you, hmm, if you resonate with any sort of eye symbolisms, like, you know, I wear the eye symbolisms, you could have like those angels with a lot of eyes on them could be attracted to you. That could be one of your guiding angels here. And these people watch people who try to use things like magic and manifestation and whatnot to a negative <laughs> in a negative way like you know so these you might have been brought into this person's life just to see if you know yeah my right ear is ringing just for your watcher angel to attach onto them so that they could alleviate this person's power and ability to manifest because they're trying to manifest bad things for certain people so this person might be losing their power. They already lost their frequency. And then, you know, like, hmm, bad things could have started happening to them already by trying to screw with you. You just kind of needed to remove them from your energy field because your angels and ancestors might bless certain people who you screw with, you fuck with. They bless them. Yeah, sh sh sorrow, shattered dreams, underachievement, overindulgence. This person isn't going to get what they want because they're overindulging. So this person could be somebody who likes to spend a lot on things that are unnecessary. This person could be looking for an apartment, supposedly, but they're always spending money on hotels and bottles and like, I don't know. <laughs> this person might ooh, might be stuck for a minute here until they find somebody that they could, I don't know, leech off of in some way or another. Yeah, and they also lost their direction. If they were planning on manipulating you, they saw that one way wasn't working, so then they tried to switch it up. Like, you know, this person might have tried to act one way and it didn't work. <laughs> so then they kind of tried to flip it. Like, you know, maybe they tried the nice way or the mean way at first, so then now they're going to try the nice way. It's like they don't know how to... successfully manipulate you. I was looking at the timer on the clock.
give me, give me more, give me Yeah, more. I'm saying now that this person isn't in your life anymore, they're not as blessed as they were. Like, you know, this person could even won certain things. Like, <laughs> like I don't know, if they were into gambling, they could have won certain bets or just lotteries or just a certain amount of attention people give them because they're a part of your life. They no longer have that compassion, emotional awakening, personal growth, fulfillment, joy. I'm saying also here, there's somebody here who had some sort of emotional awakening on your value. They could have found this value of you through other people, other people, you know, you have a real good reputation. Even though this person didn't read you as being valuable at first, having other people want you, guys who yeah, I don't know why I would say guys. Guys or girls who are into you that look way better than they are made them value you more. Ace of Cups. Or you could also be going through emotional awakening, figuring out what you do and don't want, what you will and won't accept. Goal-oriented, ambitious, loyal, faithful planner, financial opportunities. You might have a lot of financial opportunities coming in, especially since you protected yourself from this person that wanted your, um, your energy. You're very goal-oriented and you're ambitious. There, you know, this person could have tried to make you, hmm, I don't know. They're competing in the wrong lane here. They're not competing by goals. They're competing by, like I said, blowing smoke up people's uh, butts. Like, oh, this person uh, mess with me. Or like, you know, just trying to have conversation. You're competing in the right way by showing up and not just showing up. You're showing up and showing out. That or, you know, this person could have said or do, did something to you. And instead of like... Hmm. You just took that energy and you refocused on your work, your goals, and doing a better job. This person took that energy and they started <laughs> not being so focused on their work, their jobs, their goals, or anything that they were doing. Fear of the unknown, cancel plan, avoiding risk, be left in place, personal aims. Hmm. Yeah, you canceled somebody's plans too, who, I don't know, this person could have came in pretending like they wanted to help you. But then they, you showed them that you really didn't need this type of help. This person wanted to help you, but for a price. This person could have been, I don't know, low-key a bully. And that's another thing. You set proper boundaries with people who think that they could bully you, get under your skin in some type of way. <clears throat> Emotional detachment here. You could have started ignoring a couple of people or this person who wanted to get underneath your skin. This person is very upset that you cut them off. I'm seeing, though, they could have even gone to other people about advice on you and saying how you don't talk to them no more, you don't screw with them no more. And, you know, <laughs> the, the other people are even telling them what they did was wrong. Like, why would you do and say that to her or him thinking that they were going to still mess with you after that? What are these called? Taking responsibility, truth, revealed. Yeah, this people want them to take responsibility for what they did to you. Yeah, because of what they did to you, they're going to be receiving the financial loss. They're going to be struggling in poverty, isolation, unemployment. These people, this person might be being let go for if this is a person at work that's bothering you, I'm saying they're no longer going to be employed in the same place as you are. Whew. 
Ooh, yeah, I'm about to end this reading out. Let's get some angel numbers. Angel numbers. Angel numbers. Angel numbers. Spirit, give me the best angel numbers. Angel numbers. Angel numbers. Angel numbers. Angel numbers. Angel numbers, angel numbers, angel numbers. Angel numbers, angel numbers. It says four, three, two, four, three, two. My my shirt says I don't have the energy to pretend like I like you today. Yeah, I don't have the energy to pretend like I like you today. Just because I know when there's words on the shirt, if you're like me, I'd be squinting to like read them <laughs> and, <laughs> and just out of curiosity, see what they mean. That's why I always read my shirt to people if it has words on it. <laughs> that and sometimes it come up in reverse. <laughs> I've definitely paused YouTubes and then screenshotted then flipped the shirt just to see what it said. Four of diamonds, your money has protected it. Three of spades, two of diamonds. Hmm. You might be making some sort of business deal, business plan here. Four, three, two. Angel number. The appearance of angel number 432 often coincides with significant life changes. It serves as a gentle reassurance that the changes you are experiencing are part of a greater plan. Yes, despite any uncertainty or fear that may arise, this number reminds you to trust the process and remain open to new possibilities. Oh, I like that one. That's from AuraHealth.io. Yeah, that's deep right there. All right, love you guys. Thank you for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe if this resonates. I'll be posting. I did all the astro readings, little one-minute ones. I don't know if I'm going to post. I'm probably post that to premiere somewhere, uh, somewhere tomorrow. This I'm going to post immediately. And um, enjoy your day, night, evening, whenever you're catching this reading. Talk to you later.